In this video, I'm going to show you how to determine the tension of a cable supporting a, of a, uh, supporting a boom, as well as the vertical and horizontal forces um, acting on the hinge of the boom. So here we have the yellow cable. The boom is made out of a half meter stick. The hinge is this pin right here down at the bottom. And the boom is supporting this mass. Let's have a close up view of some key points. Uh, here's the hinge, and we see that the boom is 60 degrees with respect to the vertical, so that means that the elevation of the boom is going to be 30 degrees. The yellow string or the cable is uh, attached to the 30 centimeter mark uh, of the boom as measured with respect to the hinge, and we see that the angle formed is 70 degrees uh, with respect to the, um, uh, to the boom. And then finally we have the hanging mass located at the 40 degree mark. Okay, so what I've done is I've drawn a free body diagram uh, of the forces acting on the boom. Uh, let's begin over here. We have the hinge. There are two forces. There's a vertical force and a horizontal force. The center of mass of the, of the boom is MCG pointing straight down. The cable at an angle, uh, we said earlier that it was 70 degrees. And we also have the hanging, hanging mass which points straight down. And I've summarized the data in the table right here. So we'll pick from that table later. Uh, and the, uh, the hanging object, I'm calling an object, so that would be mass of O. Um, so let's begin by locating the pivot point. I'm going to locate the pivot point at the hinge. And the reason for this is I don't know uh, V nor H. So there are two unknowns there. So that's probably the best point to put our uh, pivot point. So PP for pivot point. Uh, let's begin with um, applying. I'm going to apply the uh, second condition of equilibrium first. Uh, and the reason for that is um, I'm interested in determining the tension, which is one unknown, um, as opposed to trying to determine the forces, which are two unknowns. So, so be, that would be more difficult. So uh, the sum of the torques is equal to zero. And we have um, a total of one, two, three torques causing that boom to turn the pivot around the pivot point. Um, so the sum of the torques is equal to um, torque provided by the center of mass, which is a negative torque because that causes a counterclockwise right there, or sorry, a clockwise rotation, which is going to be um, a positive, a negative. So that would be um, negative MCG sine theta 1. That would be the force times the distance which we've labeled as, or indicated as that D1. So that's uh, 25 centimeters, half the length of the boom. Uh, the next torque is provided by the cable. Um, and that's going to provide a counterclockwise torque. So like that. Um, and so that'll be positive. So then we take the perpendicular force of that torque. So that's going to be T, whatever the tension is, times the sine of theta 2 uh, times distance 2. And then the third force is going to cause a clockwise torque, which is a, uh, positive, a negative torque. So it would be minus MOG sine of its angle. 3 times the distance. And if you take those three torques, they should add up to 0. 
uh, let's plug in the numbers. Negative 0.125 times 9.8 sine of 60 degrees. Theta 1 is 60 degrees times the distance 0.25, and that's the torque provided by the center of gravity. And now we add the torque um, of the cable, the yellow cable. Uh, we don't know its tension, that's what we're trying to solve for. T times the sine of 70 degrees times its distance, which is 0 0.30 meters. And now the torque of the, um, the hanging mass, which is uh, 0 0.500 times 9.8 times the sine of 60 degrees. That's the angle with respect to the boom. Times its distance, which is 0 0.40 meters. And you add all that up, and that equals to zero. So um, those numbers, we crunch them. Uh, the first portion, minus 0 0.265. Uh, and then we're going to add 0 0.282 uh, times t minus 1.70. That's equal to zero. So if we rearrange that, the tension is going to be 1.70 uh, plus 0 0.265 divided by 0.282. So the tension is equal to 6.97 newtons. Okay. So that, that's the tension in the cable. Now to figure out the, um, the values for the vertical and horizontal forces, um, it's, we're going to end up using some of uh, the first condition of equilibrium, the sum of the forces is equal to zero. Uh, what we need to do is uh, do a little bit of uh, geometry here. Um, so let me sketch that down here first of all. Uh, we have the boom coming like that. We know that we have the cable uh, coming out like that. So let's say that that's 70 degrees. OK. So we also know that the boom is set at a 30 degree angle. right? That's the elevation of the boom. If we take a line and drop it straight down like this, then we know that this angle is equal to 60 because that's a 90 degree angle. Okay, so 90 plus 60 plus 30 is 180. So that triangle is taken care of. And 60 plus 30, and what's this angle right here, which is what we need, uh, that would be 180 minus 70 minus 60 which is equal to 50 degrees. Okay, so this is 50 degrees in there. And uh, why do we need to know that? Because I need to know what this vertical force is and the horizontal force. So what I'm going to do is add that to the diagram above. Uh, let me do that with green lines. So I have this going up like that. And I have this force going like that. So this would be Tx, and this will be Ty. Because I have to apply the sum of the forces in both the x and y direction. So let's just isolate this. And let's do sum of the forces in the y direction, first of all. That's equal to 0. And if we look at all the vertical forces, we have uh, Ty going up. Um, and we also have the vertical force of the hinge going up, uh, or I'm assuming it's going up. Um, if, if we end up getting a negative answer for V, then we know that we guessed wrong and the, and, and the force would be pointing downward. But for now, I'm going to guess that the, that the uh, V is pointing upwards. Um, 
now we have downward force of MCG minus MOG, and that's equal to zero. So expand this, and we get uh, for TY, we would get 6.97 cosine of 50 degrees. We just figured out it was a 50 degree angle. Uh, plus V, which is the, uh, the force we want to find out, minus um, 0 0.125 times 9.8 minus 0 0.500 times 9.8 is equal to zero. So we have uh, how many forces? We have one, two, three, four vertical forces. So you could check that on the free body diagram. So if we uh, crunch the numbers, we're going to get uh, 4.48 plus V minus 1.23 minus 4.9 is equal to zero. And that means that V is equal to 1.65 newtons. Okay, and it's positive. Let me emphasize that. Positive. So because it's positive, I know that I guessed correctly V is in fact is upward. Um, lastly, uh, the horizontal force, well we know uh, the sum of the forces are equal to zero. There are only two forces, so H is equal to Tx. Um, and I'm running out of room here on, on the screen. So um, now Tx is 6.97 sine of 50. And if you crunch the numbers, we get 5.34 newtons.